Welcome back to Enfigyan my dear friends. In today's video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. 4th root of 33 minus 7x plus 4th root of 31 minus 9x equal to 2 times 4th root of 4 minus x. And we have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started with a straight away consideration of substitution. The first radical term I will consider A and second radical term I will consider B. So let me write here A equal to 4th root of 33 minus 7x and B will be equal to 4th root of 31 minus 9x. So from here we can write a power 4 and b power 4 by raising both sides power 4. So I will be writing here a power 4 will be 33 minus 7x and b power 4 will be 31 minus 9x. Now I will add both the equations a power 4 plus b power 4 will be 64 minus 16x. Now I will write our equation. So it will become a plus b equal to 2. This 2 we will write 4th root of 16. And then it is 4th root of 4 minus x. Now we will club both the radicands. So 4th root of 16 in bracket 4 minus x. Or we can write 4th root of 64 minus 16x. Now you can see 64 minus 16x is a power 4 plus b power 4. So we can write a plus b, this will be equal to 4th root of a power 4 plus b power 4. Now raise both sides power 4. So I will be writing a plus b whole power 4. This will be equal to a power 4 plus b power 4. Now I will use Pascal triangle for our a plus b whole power 4 expansion. So let me write here the coefficients. For power 2 it is 1 to 1. For power 3 it is 1 3 3 1. And for required power 4 it is 1 4 6 4 1. So here we have coefficients of expansion. So let me club 1 and 1 all together. 4 and 4 coefficient all together. And then we will write 6. So I'll be writing our expansion as a power 4 plus b power 4 coefficient 1 is over plus 4 times a cube b plus a b cube and coefficient 6 will be writing 6 a square b square. Right hand side is a power 4 plus b power 4. Now let's cancel these two terms. So it is left for AB is common. So in bracket it would be A square plus B square. Then we have 6A square B square. Right hand side is 0. Let's divide this equation by 2. So 2AB A square plus B square plus 3a square b square equal to 0. Now I can take ab common. So ab is common. In bracket I will be writing 2 times a square plus b square plus 3 times ab equal to 0. Let's simplify this curly bracket. So it will give us 2a square plus 2b square plus 3ab. So I will write a times b in bracket 2a square plus 2b square 
plus 3 AB equal to 0. Now this product is 0. We can conclude from here either A equal to 0 or B equal to 0 or 2A square plus 2B square plus 3AB equal to 0. So we will solve one by one. Let me consider our third equation first. So I will be writing here 2A square plus 2B square equal to minus 3AB. Now if you will see this was our A. This was our B. So condition on A or B is A should be greater than 0. B should be always greater than 0 for real solutions. So if I will multiply both the inequality, A times B should be greater than 0. So this term is positive. Left hand side A and B both are positive. Sum of two squares, it won't be negative. So it is also positive. Due to this minus sign, we can say this will generate complex solutions. So complex solutions will be there. So we will reject this quadratic or degree 2 equation for our real solution. Now we have a equal to 0 left and b equal to 0 left. Let us solve. So I will write a equal to 0 first. That means fourth root of 33 minus 7x equal to 0. Now raise both sides power 4. 33 minus 7x equal to 0. 7x equal to 33. Or we can conclude x equal to 33 over 7. Our first solution is here. And if you will check this value, then this value is approximately 4.714. Now I will solve second equation b equal to 0. So I can write this term was b. Fourth root of 31 minus 9x equal to 0. Raise both sides power 4. 31 minus 9x equal to 0. 9x equal to 31 or x is equal to 31 over 9. And if you will check this approximate value, then this value is approximately 3.44. Now, we have to check which solution we are going to accept. So, let me write our condition for the radicates. So, I can write from here. Condition number 1 from A. For real solutions, 33 minus 7x, this should be always positive. Now I can say 7x, this should be less than 33. And x should be less than or equal to. Equality will also hold true 33 over 7. So let me write here equality sign also. Now first condition is x should be less than or equal to 33 over 7. Now second condition, it will come from 31 minus 9x. This should be always greater than 0. Or I can write 9x should be less than or equal to 31. So x should be less than or equal to 31 over 9. Now third condition will come from RHS. So let me write here itself. Third condition will be 4 minus x. This should be always greater than or equal to 0. So I can write x should be less than or equal to 4. So conditions are here. Now we have to consider the intersection of all the three conditions. So if you will take intersection of these three conditions. First one, second one and third one then we can conclude x should be less than or equal to 31 over 9. 
See our solutions were x is equal to 31 over 9 and x is equal to 33 over 7. Now you can see we will accept only the first one 31 over 9 as it is less than 4. This value is greater than 4. So we will reject this one. So our final and real solution will be 31 over 9. Equality will hold true at 31 over 9. This brings the end of the video friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.